Hey guys, welcome back to the Motion Raceworks YouTube channel. It is Tech Tip Tuesday, so here it is, coming at you. So one of the most frustrating parts of after you finish a build is trying to get the cooling system to properly bleed itself so that it works properly and uh, you can go and enjoy your project. It's really easy on an electric water pump vehicle because you can just run the pump with the cap off and eventually it's going to work the air out. Even that can be a little bit tricky sometimes. In, on a mechanical system, it can be extremely tricky because you're running the car, it's starting to get hot, it has air pockets, starting to make you nervous, you're hoping the fans work, uh, just a lot of anxiety and stress. And so today's tech tip is here to help you guys to make it easy and show you a quick little tip that'll uh, speed the whole process up and get you on the road so you can enjoy your car. So if this is your first LS and you have never heard of a steam vent kit, you may have one in the car, you may not. Some people tend to plug all four ports. We sell a variety of kits that connect all four corners of the tops of the heads on the LS motor, and that balances intake temperatures. One cool thing about it is it also makes it extremely easy to bleed a cooling system, which a lot of people don't know. Because the steam kit is actually the highest point in your cooling system typically, the air pockets that would normally be stuck in the engine are coming out these ports and they're stuck in the, the steam kit. So as you're starting to run this thing, um, both before and after a thermostat open, whether you run a thermostat, that air is gonna be basically directing its way to the steam kit. So a quick easy tip is on this LSA engine, um, of course we sell these for a variety of different platforms and you may not even have ours or you may have a stock one, but you can basically just uh, carefully loosen up the main line that goes back to the radiator um, that's always going to basically be your focal point of where all the steam and pressure and air pockets are and just loosen it carefully. You're going to want to use a towel or something to protect yourself. So do this at your own risk. Um, you don't want to unscrew it and take it off because you might have steam and hot water and everything come out. So use gloves, use a rag, use your own common sense to make sure you don't burn yourself. But you can just basically take it from full tight and just crack it and you'll see it and hear it start to hiss, um, it'll let the air out. And then what I typically do is I do that before the thermostat opens. So when the motor's cold, I just let it run for a few minutes like that. It'll drip a few drops of water, it'll let a bunch of air out, and then I'll tighten it. And then once I see a thermostat open, um, AKA the temperature is to the point where the thermostat would open, I'll do it again and let it run for a few minutes um, and just hiss and steam and get all that stuff out of there. And then uh, eventually you'll see it start to stream water. So then you want to close it up and typically that's about all you really need to do to bleed the whole cooling system. That is one of the benefits of the steam kit being the highest point on the system. The other highest point is typically your radiator cap. Between those two, it makes it super easy. I hope this helps you guys. This will work on any of the LS steam vent systems. It particularly works really well on our LSA system. If you don't have one or you've never seen our steam vent kits, I'll drop a link in the description below. Until next time, guys, hope you enjoy this. If you have ideas for the next tech tip, drop them below in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. We get our ideas from both our own projects and from your questions and uh, things we see online. We'll see you next time.